Well, hello everyone. I'm Tim Stack. In this set of tutorials, I'm going to go through the process of creating a podcast. But this time, instead of just audio in this podcast, it's going to include some visual elements, some still images, some video that I record with my document camera, as well as narration that I create. Now the tool that we're going to use is called Camtasia Studio, but before I get into Camtasia Studio, I'm going to do a little preparation. So I've created a new folder on the desktop. You can see it right there. Just named it uh, Therm Podcast or Thermometer Podcast. Um, and that's where I, I'm going to have a few things I need to store and I want to keep them all in the same place. So I have already, let me double click and open that for you, I've already gone out uh, and found a nice little graphic of a thermometer that I might use. Also, I want a little bit of intro and exit music. So a quick place to find that is in the Pioneer Library in um, a tool called Sounds Abounds. So I'm just going to go to the Pi Pioneer Library quick, um, go right into Sounds Abounds, and I already know the one that I want. It's the same one I've used before. So I'm going to go right to the folk section and I just want this 15 second intro. And so I could listen to it by clicking the play button or I can just click download. When I download this, um, it automatically goes to my download folder so I'll have to go get it. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so let me get, uh, go to my download folder. Okay, so under my username and I should find a folder in here called downloads, I'm sorry. Um, there it is. Downloads and I can see there's the file that I want so I'm just going to drag that out put it into the same folder just so I can kind of keep my things in the same place. Okay, good to go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get Camtasia Studio started up. You'll find it under the Start menu, All Programs, Camtasia Studio 6, and then there is the actual um, launcher to launch Camtasia Studio. It's got a little green box on it. So click that. Camtasia Studio will come up. Uh, in, and if you've done any video editing in the past, it will look a lot like a video editor. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is to bring in those pieces of media that I've already collected. That thermometer graphic as well as my background music or my music that I'm going to use for my intro. Then I can do that right over here. There's a task list along this left side. So I'm going to go ahead and click Import Media. And I need to then navigate out to the desktop and find that folder that I'm storing my resources in or my assets in. There's my Therm Podcast folder. Double click on that. And I want to select both of those. So I could do them one at a time. Or if I hold down Shift, I can get them both selected. Say Open. And you can see now they are in my clip bin and they'll be ready for me to use down here in my um, in my podcast. Okay, so uh, that gets us started. Now, we're going to go through this process step by step, but just um, a quick little overview of this interface. Along the bottom here I have the timeline and it by default has one track for video and one track for audio. That's kind of set up to get video f um, and audio that came from a camera. So when I record video uh, from my document camera or I could bring in video from uh, some other source that I want to make part of this project, that's where I'm going to put it. Okay. If I need more tracks, which I probably will, there's a little menu right here. Um, that has some track drop downs and you can see I have I can have um, two more audio tracks um, and I have a couple more video tracks I have a picture in picture um, track and then some special effects tracks um, that I can use there okay so and those will kind of get created automatically as well but I just want to know where that information goes um, this task list um, it helps me know what to do next and helps me find um, tools but sometimes it gets in the way so I can click the X there it closes it if I need it back open there's a button um, back here across the top whoops now I've lost it I want to view 
and view the task list. And I can click that and that comes that brings it back. So I can move that around. Also, each one of these um, regions, I've got four regions open right now. My clip in, my monitor window, the timeline down here, and the task list. I can grab along their edges and adjust how much of each one that I see. And that comes in handy when I'm really down editing. I sometimes can make this um, timeline down here a lot bigger to give me a lot more room and then minimize it back down when I want to get to one of these other tools. Okay, so that's it for this first overview. In the next episode, I'm going to talk about um, recording with your camera, with your document camera and bringing video in and recording with a microphone.